Hi everyone, I am back, uh, and the moment you've been waiting for. I have received my first Sip Spy box, um, but before I get to that, I actually got something else in the mail today. Um, this, it is from thriftbooks.com. Um, if you don't know uh, what that is, it is a website where you can buy used books. Um, and I bought this book uh, specifically for my book club. Um, I am part of a book club. Um, I was reminded today about how much I read. Um, I was in the lunchroom at my office and um, I had been reading one book for a while, Lament, the one I did the book review for. And I was reading the second book today during my lunch break and uh, someone who's always seen me reading made the comments of that, you know, reading isn't a race uh, because I had already started on the second one. And uh, I then told him, um, I don't really think of it as a race. I just read a lot. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So I got this. It is the World According to Garp by John Irving. It is the next book that my book club is reading. Um, I still have a few weeks, so I'm not behind. I still have time to read it. It's a bit thicker than I thought. Um, what is in this? A note. Isn't it always great if you buy used books and there's notes in there that you don't expect? Huh. It says Salzburg International Preparatory School. It's a business card. I won't say who it's for, but apparently it's the headmaster. Um, interesting. I'm assuming it was a student and they were using it as a bookmark. And I think I'm gonna do the same. I will use it as the bookmark as I read this book. Uh, now, next, the Sips Buy Box. I have been so impatient. I have been wanting this for so long because I actually let my tea run out. Um, because in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna be getting my Sips Buy Box. There is no reason to buy more tea. I was wrong, there's always reason to buy more tea. Um, so I've essentially just been like rationing what tea I have left, which is, I think it's just regular green tea at this point, which I love, but um, I think I'm down to like my last package. So, so happy this showed up today. Um, oh, it just, it made my day when I saw it sitting on my mailbox. Okay, so we're gonna open it. Oh wait, it opens this way. Ah, it's so fancy. Oh, this is, I think I messed everything up. This is the top. Come on now. All right. March teas. What does March have in store? Oh my gosh, the smell just hit me and it's, oh, it smells so good. Okay, so let's see. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is a birch fine tea. It is amaretto biscotti. That sounds heavenly. Let's see, ingredients. Ooh, hopefully I pronounced this stuff right. Rubos, cranberry, orange, almond pieces, cardamom, calendula, red cornflower petals, anise clove pieces, Natural flavors containing nut oil, almond and hazelnut. This sounds amazing. I wanna, oh, I can smell it through the package, it's so good. Okay, next we have Tiesta tea. Apparently it's for immunity. Um, Maui mango. And, oh, this is the one that really smells. Ooh, smell that fruit. Pineapple pieces, orange slices, mango bits, natural flavors, safflowers, strawberry fruit granules, white hibiscus, marigold petals. Oh my God, this smells like I belong on a beach in Hawaii. I would love to be on a beach in Hawaii. Oh my gosh, okay. Next, we have tea exotics. Uh, the Naked Grass Skirt Tea. This is 
cute. Very simple. Um, oh, it's got matcha in it. Love the matcha. Okay, so organic matcha plus organic coconut milk. Oh, that's it. Probably why it's called, it has the naked in the title. Um, it's very naked. That's, that's all there is in it. Um, can't smell much from this, but from the ingredients, I feel like it will be, it will be a good tea. Oh my goodness. I feel like this tea wins. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's from White 2 Tea. It's called 2008 Minga Aged Raw Pure. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. Um, but it has tinkles from freaking Rick and Morty. How amazing is that? This one wins. It's sweetheart, you tinkles. Oh no. This is. That's amazing. This one also smells very good. I, oh my gosh, guys, I don't know if there's gonna be one that I like am, that I kind of dislike in this box because they all smell amazing. And I guess that's, that's what's great about Sip Spy is that no two boxes are really the same because you're supposed to fill out a questionnaire before, you know, when you're signing up and, you know, based on your preferences, they send you specific teas. So these teas were sent to me because of what I answered on that questionnaire. So, I mean, if I filled it out correctly and their algorithm is correct, like these should be teas that I really enjoy. Um, so yeah, so that is my unboxing. The only other thing in the box, um, they give you uh, little cloth bags to use to, to, to use the tea. This is so cute. I will probably like start hoarding these bags like for each box that I get. Um, yeah, cause that's, that's who I am as a person. Um, so that's it for the unboxing. I will do another video when I do the first taste test. Um, I'm not gonna do that tonight. It's a bit, uh, a bit late already and I wanted to make sure that I at least uh, opened the box and got that taken care of. Um, but I will be doing that very soon. Um, I will be testing the first C and of course I won't be using the little bags that come with it. I will be using the precious infusers that I received. And I think, you know, as I am partial to the platypus, but I think I will base it on the tea that I try will go with the infuser that I use. I feel like that's the smart way to go about it. So yeah, thanks. That was fun. Um, can't wait to try them. Bye.